What's up, y'all? This is Be Real from Cypress Hill, chilling on Freestyle 101 G4. I'm about to get in the booth and lace one for you. I'm breaking out the arsenal, no one in my path can never live through it I'm a psychotic with visions of mass murders through music I'm about to lose it, homie, snapping right as we speak Cause I'm a freak of nature, cursed with a gift and I'm so unique I make it hot as you can take it, there's no mistake in the heat I spit Yes, I'm on some leadership, never question my leadership My obligation to blow up every location's therapeutic I rebooted the system, looted your mind with gangster music Crazy insane, I ain't feeling no pain, I don't spill it for any fame or financial gain It's for the brain and if you can take it You know my mission's almost over Someone pass me a lighter Cause I'm feeling sober I need more C4 So I can blow this fucking mic up Right here on G4 And if you wanna feel it You know that I'm a Hall of Famer And I blow up any spot It's my disclaimer NBA Live, so calm, doesn't matter Just give me the gun and I'm a fucking gotcha Growing up in L.A., we caught the, the, the hip-hop and the rap influence a little bit later. You know, New York had it first, and it started trickling down here to L.A. on a, on a station called KDAY. Back in the days in L.A., you know, when N.W.A. Were, were, were doing their thing, there was this club called Radiotron. It was probably the oldest hip-hop, you know, themed club, you know. The DJ, who was uh, Tony G, who was the head mix master on the mix master show at KDAY, and Julio G, his protege, they would DJ at the Radiotron, and they would have it open mic, so you can go up on the mic if you were a so-called rapper, get up there and spit to like any instrumental that they might have up there. Usually you had to spit with to what they chose. You couldn't just go up there and slow up the show and say, no, I want this beat. No, that one's too fast. That one's too slow. Okay, this one. No, you had to go with the beats that they gave you. And when I did it, I was so nervous, I crashed and burned. And, you know, it was one of the few times that that's happened in my, in my hip-hop career or whatever. I think freestyling today is a little bit, um, I think it's more relevant now because you've had so many things that were based on, uh, like you have shows now that were based off that. Like for instance, there's these cats named King Sway and Tech. Sway is on MTV and him and Tech do their, their, their radio show called The Wake Up Show and they host MC battles too. A lot of people love that aspect of hip hop because you're, you're seeing a, a dude just come in there and come off the top trying to be as clever as possible and win over the crowd, you know? And I think we need more of that. Every aspect of music is so song structured that you need a little bit of the freestyling element just to break it up a little bit so it doesn't get monotonous. Rappers put themselves out there, whether it be a wax battle or a cypher battle, because hip hop has always been competitive from the day one. Whether it's break dancing on the floor against another break dancer, whether it's pop locking or or graphing on the wall. Same thing with with getting on the mic or getting in the studio and making a disc record. It's competitive, it's like a sport. So most guys, most rappers wanna, you know, show that they're that they're the boss, that they command the mic and there ain't nobody better than them. Um, on wax it's much safer because you can do a thousand takes till you get it right. You know, you, you can slip as many times, nobody will ever see that. You'll just hear the end product. In a cypher, you don't have that comfort. You don't have that safety net that you can do it again. If you mess up in the cypher, I mean, you know, there's another rapper waiting to blow your spot up for that. You know what I mean? So you put yourself on the line, you put your reputation on the line, and you put your skills on the line, you know? And... You only do that if, 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 you, if you have that confidence. Now, some people can fool themselves <laughs> into thinking that they can get in a cypher with some real MCs and, you know, put a dent in the armor, you know what I mean? But there are other guys like the Supernaturals and like the, the Craig Cheese and, and, and all those guys, um, Juice, Chino XL and Eminem, you know? Those guys will get in a cypher and they'll eat people up.
and there's guys that are that good that get in the cipher and hold their own and make themselves look like champions you know but that's the whole thing you got to be willing to you know take a shot or get shot at 